There's nothing more illuminating than a litter plapacho tree. Hello everybody, and welcome back to the mining and construction economy map. The most amusing part is, well, the trees lit up by some lights which are switched off. Anyway, yes, we have a very important job to do today. We're currently over at the roadworks in the town and the asphalt machine can't continue, it can't continue putting the road surface down because the machine in front has actually run out of a word which I struggle to pronounce. The two vinyl, I believe it is. There you go. Which is essentially this sort of sandy, gravelly type underlay material. So we, we must get this machine moving again. So what we need to do is actually make some of this two vinyl and we have to, of course, go over to our mine, get the materials required, get it all mixed up and then we can deliver it to here and also make some money in the process, which is, of course, the, the main goal anyway. Sorry, was I in your way? Anyway, the creator, Nonus, did actually discover my previous video uh, when we were doing the gold and, well, he sent a very useful link which essentially gave us some more machinery which is designed for this map including some grape machinery, grape harvesting and grape planting and maintaining machinery so that's going to be good, we're going to be able to see the grape vines very soon if you don't know where the grape vines are, they are just over here and yes, the, the machines and the map itself have come from Mod Hoster so the links are down below so yeah, these are the grape vines, currently nothing growing yet but there is going to be very soon and then we're going to get all the harvesting done and um, well make some products out of the wine hopefully so all of these machines here appeared in the pack I might have missed a few off because you have to enable them individually and I have loads and loads of machines uh, but today we're going to need I'm going to need this one here it's pretty beefy very beefy uh, that's going to be good we have come into money from the gold so we do have quite a bit of money to throw around now this is going to be used later Probably for just when we're putting the different products, the gravel and the sand, into the processor. And we also could do with a fairly big water tanker. That's for water there. But that is also for the IT runner setup. And at some point we're going to have to have the diesel trailer too. But possibly not today. Uh, that'll probably be next week's video. Because next week we're most likely going to be creating the asphalt. Which is a much, much more involved job. It's a huge job actually. So I think this is probably going to be the only thing I need to buy today because it is an absolute beast of a machine, absolute mammoth machine. Uh, I don't think there's anything else which is uh, required to do this particular job. So yeah, this gigantic bucket should be enough. Uh, it's absolutely huge. Anyway, yeah, let's just head over there. Head over to number three, which is our main mine. Well, it's the one we're using the most at the moment anyway. Um, and we need to... Essentially, some mixing together three ingredients. We have sand, gravel, and water. However, I don't think at the moment I have any sand or any gravel. Right, so here we are over at the yard. This is where we can make all the different products. And the mine is just behind, just down there, which I did feature in the previous episode. When we were getting all the gold, we did very well out of the gold. I think if I had continued, if I had done just another quarter of a trailer load, maybe not even that, we would have uh, made way over a million pounds. It is very impressive money. How to become a millionaire very, very quickly. Anyway, here we are. This is where we have the byproducts. Obviously, at the moment, there's nothing. But this is the gravel. That's where we need to get the gravel from. And this is where the sand comes from. So we run over to the little machine here. You can see that it is stone production. So input is stone and then the output is stone powder, gravel and sand. We don't need the stone powder at the moment, but we do need to have the gravel and the sand. So essentially we do need to get some stone mined and put into the processor, which is all the way down here. Tailings into here, or out of here, stone into here. So it's just a case of getting the stone to here to begin with. And then, yeah, the other thing is just water. So it's actually very simple to do once you have the sand and the gravel. Uh, so just to show you, water goes into here. This is our little machine. This is the two vinyl production. You can see input is water, gravel, and sand. And obviously the output is uh, the, the material of the product which we're looking for. This is where the sand and the gravel goes. So in theory, it's all very simple stuff. But it's getting this, uh, this stone mined to begin with. So I think, let's just get this onto uh, 
this trailer again. I know there's, there's really big machinery, you've got dumper trucks and everything, but at the moment I'm just going to stick with the lorry. Uh, I just really do like this setup, it just works. Probably not the most powerful setup, by a long way. Also not the most appropriate setup, but just for today, just one more day, of using this uh, very appealing lorry. I don't know why I like it so much, but I just do. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's go over to the stone mine. Well, I've taken the Volvo down first. We've got the uh, lorry just behind us, but I have stopped it because I don't want it to mess up going around here. We do need a good place to position it, which is probably actually just there. Uh, so let's get it now into position. On the left here we have limestone, I think, and then the pile over here is stone. I have had to buy this area, so that's why we're all the way down at £104,000. But, well, we can just sell a little bit of gold. It wouldn't be too difficult to get back up to a million which is probably what we're going to do anyway. So, yeah, let's just get a full trailer load of stone. This is going to be very heavy. I would imagine even heavier than the dirt. Stone is incredibly heavy. Although, so is dirt. So, yeah, full load. Which isn't going to take too long with such a big loader. Last week I was using the class wheel loader, which was pretty good. I had the lightweight bucket on, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I had the lightweight bucket for dirt. So, a material which isn't really lightweight, but it worked well. It did work. Um, this is even larger than that, at 9,500 litres. I don't like to say litres, as I've said before, but the game always measures it in litres, so if I started saying nine. 9.5 tons, it might not necessarily be 9.5 tons. Because a litre doesn't necessarily equate to a kilogram. Anyway, yep, let's just get this all loaded up. And essentially, when I put this into the processor, it's going to separate it into the different byproducts. Um, and then we just have to scoop it up again with this shovel, with this big bucket put it into the appropriate areas and eventually we are going to have the two materials required and we just put the water into there as well and yeah, make a good mixture and it'll be ready to take over to the roadwork site over on the main road well probably not the main road actually it's not very main I think I saw one car in the two minutes I was there one thing I really do like over the 17 version of this is you do have, I, I guess you could say, not an unlimited supply, although <laughs> there is so much here. I don't know how long it would take you to get rid of it all, all the dirt. Uh, but yeah, the thing is you can actually scoop it up. You don't have to just put the bucket into a trigger and wait for it to fill. You can physically see the material being scooped. So that is a vast improvement. I don't know if there's space for any more, but, well, I'll get another full load just in case. There might be at the back. There is quite clearly a big space in the back of the trailer. I don't think it would take all of this. What do I know? It took it all. Mm, I don't think it would take much more. I think as well, before I uh, get too involved with the production of gravel and sand, I probably should start the water tanker filling because it does take a very long time to fill and we do need quite a bit of water for this. I think we need quite a bit of water for everything. So it would be uh, a good idea to get it started. That almost looks axle snappingly heavy, although this little beast can uh, quite easily pull this trailer. So yeah, I'm just going to reverse all the way up here and then we can have the very slow journey up the hill. That's 70,000 litres of stone. Well, it was pretty good. It only took two and a half minutes in real time to get it up the hill. We were fluctuating between zero miles per hour and one, so that's a new record. It's a new low. Anyway, yeah, we, we now have the uh, the stone ready to tip and it should hopefully fairly soon start to make a little pile of gravel and sands just there but we do have to take it all the way over here because it goes through the processor and does its processing business yes like I say I think next week we are going to be doing the asphalt now that is a big job 
the amount of different products that you actually require for that is vast. I'll show you in a minute. I can take you over to the uh, asphalt production area. Okay, start unloading the stone into there. As you can see. Oh, it's close. Whoa, stopped just in time. And yep, yeah, that is all registering, so that's good. So just for those of you who are interested in next week's video, uh, it might actually be a two-part video actually over two weeks because it is such a big thing and I do need to actually uh, mine some of the different things. For example, river sand, I think that has to be processed river sand, so we do have to put it into a processor which means getting a, a load of diesel put into the generators and stuff. So this is easy enough, we just put the stone into there. That means processing river sand. Rubber, that's fairly easy. You do have to process it, but it's not too difficult. Tar is just a product that you can fill up. And coal, again, you can mine from the mine down there. So, that, yeah, it's not going to be a huge job, but it isn't small. It's still a big job. Anyway, this is what you need. You need stone powder, coal, tar, rubber, river sand P, which is processed river sand, gravel, and just sand. And then at the end, you do get asphalt eventually. Uh, but there is quite a bit of work involved. Anyway, you can see here we do have the piles appearing. We've got some nice gravel. We also have some nice sand. That could be everything. Let's just speed up time and see what happens. Oh, no, 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 that's good. Plenty appearing there. That's everything processed now. Um, so we actually do have 28,000 litres of, uh, of each. That's pretty good. It's not going to make it a massive amount of tubing on but it is going to be still good I think, I'm sure it's a French word I'm sure it is, I'm not too sure what it properly equates to in English what it translates to I should say um, but I think it must just be like well, it's like the underlay isn't it it's, you put it under the asphalt so it. Well, I, I guess you could just say it is a gravel and sand mixture that is essentially what it is Anyway, I think, yeah, we will, we'll get another load. We'll get another load of stone put into here. And then we can get that to process. And then we can get the tanker filling up. Next time I'll most likely use the dumper truck. Or just something else. Or maybe even two trailers. Or two lorries. Anyway, let's get this done. And the final bucket load. So it's all going pretty smoothly. And yeah, we are going to uh, just put it in the processor and then we can uh, transfer the two byproducts that we require into the processor again. Different processor. This is the, the correct processor for the material which we're trying to make. And oh yes, we've just got to leave the quarry again, leave the mine in the slowest vehicle I could have chosen, but that is my fault for putting too much weight in it. Far too much weight for it. Thing is though, a dumper truck, although probably would be much faster at going up the hill, I would have thought the capacity would be smaller. I don't think it would be as much as 70,000 litres, but I could be wrong. Come on! You can do it, come on! I don't know why I'm saying that, because I already know it can do it. <laughs> in your own time. I've just realised I did put a square there accidentally, so we should dispose of that. It looks much better without it. And we can finally get it into the processor once again. And I think you can actually sell anything which you don't actually want. So if, if we were producing sand or, or gravel or anything, and, and you actually didn't want it to be stored at all, you wanted to make some money just from that raw product, I think you can do it. I think you can take it over to a sell point. So, um, yeah, you don't have to worry about have it all piling up somewhere. Now whether or not there's actually going to be space for more sand and gravel to pile up, I don't know. But we'll soon find out. It's empty. Alright, so we'll just leave it there. And then we can attach to the water tanker, which is just over this side. It's over at the gold, the gold processing place. I, th I think it's probably my favourite thing to do, the gold, but it's definitely not the most satisfying, weirdly, because you don't really have to do a massive amount to actually get the gold. You just put the dirt in, put the water in, 
and it separates it all for you. So it's very nice that it's there. It's a very good way of making money. You can fund the whole mine with the uh, the gold production. Now, water is just here. So we get that filling up. And there we go. And we'll jump into the Lizard Standard, also known as the Volvo L220H, I think. Yep. By this modder here. Oh. Sorry, it's a bit, bit bouncy, but... Uh, yeah, it came in the package, which is on Mod Hoster. It takes a while to fill up, so we'll leave it there for a few minutes. In the meantime, I can start to shovel up the sand and the gravel and put them in the appropriate places, and then we'll have to do the water, but yeah, the water is obviously going to be a little bit of time. It might be worth putting this into a trailer, possibly, but... Having said that, it is only about two shovel loads for each pile, two or three. So it is always growing though, so it's going to be in the end about five, five or six. So yeah, I might actually, yeah. I think once the lorry is available, if I haven't finished moving the sand and the gravel, I will uh, get the, the, the trailer loaded. Anyway, yes, we have gravel to begin with, just over here. It should, unless you have to do it from a trailer. Accept this. Let's just see. Yes, that's good. So I'll continue moving the sand and the gravel. And then, um, yeah, once the tank is full, we'll, we'll do the water. Okay, the water tank is ready. So that's 32,000 litres, which I can already say is not going to be enough. I think it's probably going to be, well, certainly double. It could even be quadruple. So much water is used for the production of anything, so it's going to be a lot. And then, yes, we are going to move the trailer around, then we can put this back onto the water tower over there and refill. Just keep refilling it. It's all a bit of a repetitive process once you get going uh, but eventually we do end up with a very good product so we'll handbrake turn it into there, that'll do and um, yes, let's just make sure I'm actually in the trigger there we go and then we should be able to see on this machine over here that we have well, we've got sand, we've got a little bit of gravel um, and then we should also have the water yes, the water is going up as well So. Clearly the capacity of this is a, a lot. It can produce 50,000 litres in an hour. <laughs> that's that's quite a lot. Anyway, I'll continue. I'll get the trailer filled up. And we can get the, the tank filled up again. And eventually it'll be time to put the trailer underneath this pipe to fill up that. Right then, so we have another full tanker load and the trailer is now full of the gravel. The sand has already been transferred over. I did that with lots of backwards and forward runs as you saw in the time lapse. Um, I think there probably is a bit more to process, but we don't actually need any more. There's going to be plenty here for the roadworks site. So yeah, it's going to need to have the asphalt next week. They're desperately going to need the asphalt. Which will be a big job. Okay, so that's unloading as you can see once again of that. You don't actually have to go on today, you can see the production on here, but uh, we have already produced 25,000 litres of the final product. So we've just, we just got to get the gravel over here. Wait for that to finish unloading. Put this over here. We'll go and get the trailer. The trailer isn't full, it's probably about half full. Okay. 66% uh, so exactly two-thirds I think at the rate we're going we're gonna have more than one full trailer load but we can keep that for a future project because we only actually need to have one full trailer load for the roadwork site it's not a very big road so we'll fill it up 100% if we can do I think there's way more than that though, like I say so uh, 
we just fill this up as much as we can do. That's almost empty. Production is now in full swing, so we can speed up time. And things will really be processing quickly. Yep. Lots and lots of uh, inputs in there. The lowest amount is sand at another 42,000 litres. So we're going to have a lot. I'll get it positioned underneath. I have already attempted to do this, but I couldn't quite make it around the corner. Might have been better approaching from the other side. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's just get it through there. Ah, oh, so close. Just a case of sort of ramming it through. Right, okay, so now we can fill up. Uh, so far there's uh, many sixes. Many sixes of this product. That'll do. It's filling at least. It's almost manufactured enough to fill the trailer. And that figure is ever growing. But what do you think? What do you think of the mining and construction economy map? I really like it. I, I've liked it ever since I played the first one. I think there was one on 15, but I don't recall playing it. I, I'm pretty sure the first one I played on was 17s, uh, which was great fun. This is the Estancia the Pacho map, by the way, if you're interested. It is the uh, Platinum Edition map for 17, which has been built on quite heavily. But it's very good. Well, it took a while to fill, but it is now full. So we are ready to head off to the town to make our delivery. They, they've probably been waiting some time. I have had to make this from scratch. Made to order, which means they can pay an extra special price of something much more expensive. Here we are, not too far to go now. I think it might be the back way to go. Um, well, I'm pretty sure it ends up at the same place. But this is extremely heavy. You don't really need me to tell you that, uh, judging by the acceleration of this lorry. But uh, yes, it, it's quite a delivery. It really is a big delivery. So they are repairing the road. But they're only going to get so far. Without our help again, they are only going to get to well, the end of <laughs> the stretch here, because I don't know how much asphalt they have. It's still sat there. No, they're very, very keen to get the job done, clearly. Right, here we are. The grader. Right, you're going to have to wait there, car, I'm afraid. Yep, just there. Park just there. What, right behind me? Do you want me to crash into you? Just go. The intelligence. Right, um, yeah, so it should take it all and we should get paid as we as we dump it. It's a very high quality product. I'm expecting some uh, pretty good figures here. Nothing like the gold, of course. The gold really was worth a fortune. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wait for it to finish tipping. It is actually still tipping, but it ends here. And there we go. £38,000. Well, that's not bad. All we have to do is dig some stone up from a mine which we already own. Well, I had to buy the mine, I suppose, but <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. I think the asphalt is going to be worth much more. Because this is a very expensive product. Lots of uh, materials have to go into it. Actually, you can see here. £517 are going to give us for that. As for the two van on today, that was 543 So, very similar. Although, yeah, that is still marginally more for today's material, this material. Anyway, it's going to be good fun doing it. I've made quite a traffic jam there. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next week, when we do something down the same line but much more involved. See you again soon. Bye for now.